Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Tim Liptrap here. We are in our Principles of Finance class. Just a very simple calculating net capital spending equation. So we have a company uh, called OMG. In 2015, they had a balance sheet of net fixed assets of $1.7 million. And in 2016, on their balance sheet, they had a net fixed asset of 2.8 million. And you can see there's a difference of a 1.1 million from one year to the next. The company in 2016's income statement showed a depreciation expense of $128,000. What is the net capital spending for 2016? Okay, as you can see, we've got three numbers here. We've got a number from a balance sheet in 16, a number from a balance sheet in 2015, and we have the 16 income statements depreciation expense. So let's show you how to do this. Don't make, don't make it harder than it is. So we're looking for net capital spending. So NFA is the net fixed assets. So when did we end? When did we begin? And then we're going to add our depreciation to that. So let's show you how this works. When did we end? We took, we ended in 2016. So we are going to take 2.8 million, 2800. Let's see if I get my numbers right. Minus when we began 1700, 1, 2, 3, plus our depreciation number of 128,000. That's all we have to do. So NCS is equal to this, the calculation of that. And why don't we do that? Let me get my calculator out. So we take 2.8 2 million minus 1700 zero, zero, plus 128,000. It should give us 1,228,000, and that should be our answer. The catch to this is to understand when is the end, when is the beginning. Sometimes the end number is smaller than the beginning number, and this turns out to be a negative. So that's you just have to be wary of that. Okay, that's the calculation for net capital spending.